Now, if you really want to know that how the hackers hack the Gmail accounts, you need to do only one thing and that is you must keep watching this entire video till the end without skipping a single second because if you skip, this not gonna work. You will not have any right to complain at the end if this video didn't work if you skip in between but I guarantee you that if you watch the entire video till the end without skipping a single second, you will be able to know that how the hackers hack the Gmail or Google account. First, we will see the methods that hackers use to compromise the Gmail accounts and after that, we'll see that how you can recover your Gmail account if that was hacked. So the very first method that hackers use to hack the Gmail accounts is known as social engineering. Now, what is social engineering? This is literally you yourself giving your password to the hacker. For example, just take a look at this email. These kind of emails are from the hackers. Now it is saying, hi, this mail is from Google team and your account needs some upgrades. For that purpose, we need your date of birth, account username, account password, and your country of living. Please respond quickly, otherwise your account will be suspended. Now look how cleverly the hacker asked for your password. Now a computer illiterate person will easily give his or her password to the hacker when he receives this kind of email because he will be terrified of losing access to his account. So any trick used by the hackers to get the password from user itself is known as social engineering and this is a very famous technique used by the hackers to hack Gmail account. The second trick used by the hackers to hack people's Gmail account is known as phishing. Now what is phishing? In this kind of hacking attempt, the hacker tries to convince you to click on a link and when you click on that link, Gmail's login page gets opened just like this. This is not a phishing link. This is just for an example and this is not a phishing page. But that page looks absolutely like this and it asks you to sign in using your email and password. And as soon as you sign in here using your email address and enter your password, this email address and password is sent to the hacker or the sender of this phishing link and your Gmail account gets hacked. If I go to Google for showing you an example and if I type in here Gmail phishing link and hit the search button, here may be some websites or services available who help the hackers to create phishing links. And there are also some people who are coders or programmers themselves who design these kind of phishing pages to hack people's Gmail account. Third type of trick used by the hackers to hack people's Gmail account is known as data breaches. Now a data breach means your password is already publicly available on the internet without your information. Now how can this happen? You may have logged in your Google account into a website which may have suffered a hacking attempt and that website's data has been leaked including your email and password and that data is sold on the dark web and even on the internet. If I go to this website, have I been pwned? And hit the search button. Now when this website appears up, you have to tap on it. And here you have to enter your email address to check whether your password has been leaked in a data breach or not. And even if you get a positive response in here, your password may still be available on internet without your knowledge. So this is another trick used by the hackers to hack people's Gmail account. Now let's move towards the fourth and final method which you can use to recover your Gmail account and hackers use it for hacking people's Gmail account. So you have to first of all go to accounts.google.com or mail.google.com and enter your email address that was hacked and just press the next button. After typing in your email address, you have to tap on this try another way button. And first of all, if you have your password, then you have to go into this second option. But as your account has been hacked, so you can't use this option. So secondly, you have to go with the first option, which is use your pass key. If you have added any pass keys to your account, you can use that to recover your Gmail account. But if you still does not have access to your pass key, you can go with the third option, which is try another way. And here you have to type in your phone number which was associated with your Gmail account. An OTP will be sent to that phone number and from there you can recover your account. And if the hacker somehow gets succeeded in creating a virtual phone number which was associated to your account, those hackers use this phone number recovery trick to hack your Gmail account. Now this is not a very advanced video for recovering your Gmail account if that was hacked. And if you request, I may also create that one. So let me know in the comments that which was your favorite method for hacking the Gmail accounts and what was the purpose you are on this video. Tell me in the comments. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.